What's going on guys? My name is Atlantis and welcome to a different sort of video than what we normally do. This is going to be a build tutorial. Now, you see, I feel like we need to do more build tutorials on the channel because if you can see all this stuff behind me, I'm getting back into actually building stuff just for the fun of it. So I think it's time to do some tutorials. So for today, we're going to be doing a tutorial on this little starter house here. Now, I think that's a fitting place to start off on. So I'm not great at these tutorials, but I'm going to do my best and I intend to get better the more that I do. So this is going to be the build we're doing today. This little starter house. Now all these builds that are in this world and that I plan to do will for the most part be able to fit in the space of one chunk. So 16 by 16 area. The, the roof overhangs a little bit here and the outside is not part of the chunk. It's only the inside that's 16 by 16, but that's not a big deal. And if I had moved it over one block, it would fit perfectly. So <laughs> that's not that big of a deal. Anyway. This little starter house, it's easy, to, it should be fairly easy to build within like, you know, your first day or two within your world. And, you know, it's fairly easy to build. There's a nice little bed here, a nice little kitchen area, on the, and on out here, this little farm area. Now, <laughs> if anyone who's been on my channel long enough knows, I tend to a little, I tend to talk a little fast, so. <laughs> ah, ah, throat why. <laughs> so, I'll try to tone that down a bit, but anyway, let's get going on to the build bit. Right, so over here in this other plot area thing, you can see that I have marked out sort of the, the floor area. You guys can pause this for a second, and if you want to follow along with this, go right ahead. If you want to, like, like pause it and try and figure out the block and, like, dimensions of this, you don't need to because I'm going to show you right now. So, for the first bit, we're going to go around... We're going to, eh, not around. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then another five right here. So this is going to be a two-block center. Most houses, like that one and the one next to it, all have one-block centers, but this one's going to be a two-block center. And then we're going to go up one, two, three, four four, one, two, three. And we're going to repeat it here. One, two, three. And now we, this is going to be the door, so we don't need to put blocks here, but one, two, three, and put a block right there. So we've got that little like arcing, arch thing, arc, arc, arch thing, you know, whatever, whatever it is. And then on these sides, we're going to come out all like this, make all of this three blocks high. And then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then fill this in with three, leave this open because it's going to be another door. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Nice. So that's the basic structure. We'll get on to detailing later on in the video. But now we're going to go to the roof. So we're going to place a slab right here, another slab here, another slab here. We're going to put a stair here instead. And then we're going to put a slab here, a slab here. And I think we may need one there eventually, but we'll see. Oh yeah, we're going to need one there. I know that for sure. Three slabs here and then another slab here and a stair right here and another stair here, slab here, slab, slab, stair, slab, slab. And slab. There we go. Ah, no, slab. Slab, no, you're arguing with me. <laughs> there we go. So that's the basic roof design, except for right here where I missed a slab. <laughs> there we go. That's the that's the basic roof design. So now let's we can do that on the other side, but first let's bring this all along the edge right here. And now slab, uh, stair, slab, 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 stair, stair, another slab, slab, S not, not slab. <laughs> let's bring this out the corner here. Do that. And there we go. Nice. So that's that. And now We'll do the other side in just a moment, but now we're gonna do a one, two, three, four, five on the roof here, and then break these three under here. So now it has a nice little arc on this side as well. So it's just, just, just yeah, so it's not just a straight line. And then let's do the same over here. So one, one, two, three, one, one. There we go, nice. So that's that. So now we're going to take some stripped oak log. Now you could use normal oak log, you could use whatever you want, and yeah, yeah, you know, whatever you have available, normal oak, if whatever, whatever you feel like using, but I'm gonna use stripped oak log. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're just going to fill in the roof with this stripped oak log. Now, some might say to use the the six, not, what is it, six sided? Yeah, the six sided oak log. But personally, I feel like using the not six sided oak logs for this is a little bit of a more, it's a little bit of more detail because it doesn't make sense that you would cut down a tree and then it would have bark on the inside. So I feel like having that little exposed bit makes it look a little bit more realistic, I guess. So now we're gonna come over to this side over here after you filled this in and we're gonna put a slab right here. And we're gonna put a stair here, a stair here, two slabs across the top, a stair, a stair, and another slab. So now it just kind of adds a little bit more detail bit to the roof. And I really like that that bit comes over the top like that. So. Let's get going on to one more bit. So we need these stairs. So let's get some cobble coast. Eh. <laughs> let's get some cobblestone stairs <laughs> and put one right here and put one right here. All right, cool. So those are going to be the door frames. We'll get, let's, yeah, let's actually put the door on right now. <laughs> uh, I'll get better at these tutorials eventually, I promise. But let's put a door here and a door here. No, no, a door. Oh my God. <laughs> door, why? Doesn't want to listen to me. There we go. <laughs> 
There, that's the doors in place. So, let's get moving on to the windows. Now, we're gonna put a window right here, and for the windows, we're gonna have a stair here and a stair here. Now, let's get some glass. Now, personally, I favor the green glass. However, you can use whatever kind of glass you have available. So let's put, let's see, a window here, and another one right next to it and one block over. So a window right there. This part we're gonna leave open for now because I've got another plan for it. And then we're gonna put one more window right here. So there, now you've got some nice windows in your house. You can see out into the world. It's it's a nice little, a nice little setup we got going on here. So anyway, let's also fill this in while we're at it. So this is gonna be like a little like pen, a little farming garden area. And we'll get on to building the rest of that up in a second. But there, that's that. That's the basic design that you, that we've got going on so far so uh, let's get going on the detail right now as for the detail for the house these are the blocks we're going to be using and these things are not hard to get in your first days in the game either so they should be fairly easy for you to get so let's go ahead and just mix them in in various different spots so mix in some cracked there some normal stone here just just sort of nice just speckle it all through the build it doesn't need to be in any sort of order you don't have to do it the way i'm doing it you don't have to do it in any particular way just Go ahead and add them in random little patterns and just sort of make it look broken up. Make it look mixed. Just and like, yeah, just just add them where you where wherever you think. You can copy me if you want, but hey, this is where I'm thinking they look good on my build. So let's put this here, cracked one there. There we go. And we'll get on to detailing the garden bit in just a moment, but let's put this here. Nice. So now, let's also take this mossy stone brick. Now the reason I didn't use this a second ago is because I feel like the mossier parts would be more towards the ground. So let's put a mossy brick right there. Let's put another one right here. Let's maybe take and put one right here. There we go. I like that. And let's put one there and one up on one higher just because we can. There we go. Nice. So that's the detailing on the house bit done. The, the, house, the house exterior is basically almost done except there's another thing you can do for the detail on this. So let's grab some oak planks and mix them into the roof here. Now this isn't necessary. Personally, I think the roof looks fine without them, but it's just a little detail bit that I like to do. It adds a bit more texture and it'll make the build just in general look a little bit more detailed. And that you can over detail, but hey, this isn't over detailed. So there we go. Now the, now, now the roof and the house are completely done. So moving right along to this, let's just do the basic bits. So let's swap this out for some stone. Let's put some smooth stone right here, put some brick, put a cracked brick, uh, not cracked, a mossy brick. And we can actually use a bit more of the mossy bricks in the garden area, because you know, well, you want it to look more like run down, more, less, tear, less cared for than the house, I would say. And let's put a smooth stone right there. Nice. So you can also mix them into the ground like this. I'm going to do that just around the edges here. Just make them look like they're sort of built into the ground a little bit. And then, let's see, put a brick here, put a stair, not a stair, a smooth stone there. And there we go. So that's some of the detail done. So now let's grab some stairs. So let's take some cobblestone stairs, some brick stairs, and some smooth stone stairs, and some slabs. Slabs, <laughs> slab. <laughs> and let's take some smooth stone slab, some cobblestone slab, some mossy stone brick slab, and some stone brick slab. And now, how you detail this depends on what kind of security you want. Do you want things to be able to get in or over the fence, or do you want it to look more good over practicality? It's all, it's entirely up to you. Personally, I favor looks over practicality, so I'm gonna put a slab right here. Yeah, right here. <laughs> oh, my poor voice. It's the end of the world today. Let's see. Let's put some more slabs here. And then it's in this, you're going to want to detail it in a similar way that we did to the house. Just, you know, kind of putting stuff where you feel like it would be fitting. You know, doesn't need to be in any specific order. Doesn't, know, doesn't need to go in any specific spot. Just needs to be where you think it might look good. So let's see. Put a slab there. Let's try a stair here. Eh, maybe a different kind of stair. Maybe there, like that. I like that. And let's put another slab here. Let's put another one here, put one there, and let's see, what else can we do? What else can we do to this little wall? I'm thinking, maybe, let's replace one of the ground blocks with a stair, actually. Let's put that right there, nice, and there we go. I think, uh, let's make this a, eh, not a stair, um, mossy brock. No, not moss, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Nice. All right, cool. And then let's bring this up one as well. Eh, up like that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so there. And now it's a fairly organic looking thing. Let's also bring this up by one as well. I think I think that looks nice. You can also put a few on the inside as well, just to make it look less flat, I guess. But that's, up to, that's entirely up to you. You don't have to do this little bit. I think it just looks nice. Let's put a stair there and one more stair here. Nice. All right, cool. So that's basically the structural bits done. So now we need to do a bit of a fence. 
So let's take oak fence. Now, normally I would use spruce fence. However, if we used spruce right next to the spruce, it would look a little bit weird. And personally, I don't like to use blocks that are meant to, you know, sort of have their own contrast right next to each other. So let's bring it down like this. Bring it out one, over, and out again. So there we go. That's a nice little fence. And let's do the same thing here, except with two of them. Right, cool. So that's that. So <laughs> let's get on to the more detaily bits, all the plants and stuff and the pathway as well. Right, so as for the path bit of all of this, we're going to want to extend the path coming from right here around through our little gate here and over past the fence and also extend it out past the door here. Now, if it were the real, real Minecraft world, you would be able to put this path like extending out this way or whichever direction you want, but because we're in a plot, we can't really make it go all the way out in there. So this is about how I would make it look. So let's expand this out a little bit more. There we go. Nice. Now, the, what I like to do with this kind of a path is use it sort of as a guide, sort of as like, okay, I'm going to put the thing there, but that may not necessarily be the entire path itself. And what I mean by that is, let's use this as a guide for where we're going to put things like coarse dirt, for example. So let's put some coarse dirt in here. And no, that was not what I meant to do, you thing. <laughs> let's make some coarse dirt in here, maybe one right here as well. And let's see, let's put another one right here. Let's put some more over here as well, and right here, and there as well. There we go, nice. So now, let's also take some grass and mix some of this back in as well. Because, you know, it doesn't need to be all path. It, let's see, that one doesn't need to be a path block. This one doesn't need to be path. And I feel like this one doesn't need to be as well, but then I feel like this one could be. There we go, nice, I like it. And let's see, nice, let's, let's make that one a path as well. <laughs> there we go, let's make this one and this one a path, and let's see, that can be coarse dirt, and yeah, I like it, cool. That works for me. Nice. So now we've got our little path going on here. So another detail we can do is on the coarse dirt or grass blocks, we can put a button. And now the button will look like a little rock in the path. So I like the way that looks. You can't put it on the actual path block, sadly, but you can put it anywhere else. So that's nice. And let's see. Let's make this grass. Mm. Coarse dirt. There we go. Nice. I like that. Now... Let's get on to actually adding plants and all that good stuff. So now you can just bone meal things. Now, the thing with bone meal is you can't always control the kind of plant you get, but you can always just break what you don't want. So let's see, I want a short grass for this. So there we go, nice and short. And then I personally don't like the, the yellow and red flowers that it spawns. So I always like to break those and place white flowers because I just like the way the white flowers look. And I also like to mix in ferns as well. And the ferns you're gonna have to go out and collect, I'm pretty sure, but it's worth it. It's worth it to mix them in. So let's add that. Get out of here, you friggin' blue flower. I don't want you here. And let's just go ahead and mix, not mix, place a bunch of bone meal all the way around and even add some tall ferns as well. Let's replace some of this grass with tall ferns just to give it some very subtle detail. Let's see, put that there. No, bad flower. <laughs> bad, no. Put that there grow these up. Nice. Now one more thing we can do, let me grab a fence as well, because there's another bit of detail I like to do, is put bushes around here. So let's put some bushes, you know, just make them sort of look more natural and randomized. That's a bit, of, that's a bit big for the plot we've got going on. If it, if it was, it was eh, <laughs> I can talk, I swear. If it was in a real world, then I would make it bigger, but that'll do for the plot size we've got going. And now you can add fences around the bush as well to make it look like it's kind of got branches going off of it. And let's add another one here. Uh, let's make it go this way. And you can even make them go over into your little farm area as well. Uh, let's get rid of this spot. There we go. Nice. Add some fence. Make it look just a little bit more natural. Nice. I like it. Cool. Alright, cool. So now let's go add one more, I think. One more bush. Nice. A little bit of a smaller one this time, but a bush nonetheless. So now, let's go back around here and do the chimney. Now, for this, we're gonna take just some cobblestone at first, break some of this glass, glass, grass, my god, <laughs> so we can see what we're doing. And let's start it right here. Let's make it go up like that on that side, have two there, because I know what I'm gonna be doing in the next one. Have it go up actually one more, and let's put a stair. Let's have three, like three right here instead of two. Put a stair like that, and then let's make it have a stair. Mm. Let's make this into a block. Let's have a stair right there, stair that way. Stair this way. There, there we go. So, block up by three. Stair, stair, block. And let's make it go up again. And instead of going up again, let's make that a stair. Make it another stair. One, two, three. Let's do another stair like this. One, two. 
And then let's get some walls. So in this case, we're gonna use stone brick wall and cobblestone wall. I'm gonna use one stone brick and two cobblestone. And then let's get a slab. Personally, I think the polished andesite slab works the best for this, but I don't know, I'm a sucker for andesite, so <laughs> could be a bit biased. And now let's take a brick and some stone and even some cracked bit. Bleh, brick <laughs> and let's mix that into here so same way we did with the house just mix it in randomly and make it look just make it look nice make it look similar to the house basically and now let's put one more up there let's also take some stair some of these brick stairs and some of the stone stairs and let's make them look more fitting so it would be weird if it was always just cobblestone stairs so let's take some of these cobblestone stairs and turn them into not cobblestone stairs this one should be a smooth stone there we go nice let's make this one a brick actually yeah, there we go nice i like it cool <laughs> right so that's the that's the, the the chimney bit done so now let's get on to the garden patch so what we're gonna need now is a hoe and a water bucket and a trap door so with this, let's see, one, two, three, four. So if you place it right here, it should be able to hydrate all of the surrounding grass bits, depending on how big your like path is and such, but all of this should be able to be hydrated. One, two, three, four, yep, there we go. All of this can be hydrated. However, I'm gonna leave some of this as just normal grass because I feel like it just adds a bit more detail when you've got bits that are, you know, just normal grass in your garden. And it just, it depends on what you want. Do you want like more food growing area? Do you want like, you know, how how practical do you want it, basically? I'm going more for looks than practicality, but hey, it's entirely up to you. And now let's take some seeds. So I'm going to take wheat seeds, beetroot seeds, carrot seeds, well, carrots and potatoes. Now, again, you could go practicality-wise and just make it one kind of crop. But personally, I like to mix things in and make it look a bit more colorful. So let's mix all of these in together. Let's place some carrots in. Carrots go there, and potatoes. We don't get many potatoes, but that's fine. Oh well, do we only get two? Three, there we go. And now let's take some bone meal and grow all of these up. Now if it was real, if it was in your real world, you could either, again, bone meal these, or you could just wait for them to grow up. But personally, I think they look nice once they've been grown up fully. So let's grow these up, there we go. Grow, 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 grow you, grow you, grow you. Keep growing, come on, you can do it. Grow faster, you friggin' plants. <laughs> They'll grow up someday, and there we go. Last one, nice. So there we go. That's our little garden area, I guess. And let's see, let's take the bone meal here as well and grow up this bit. I like it when these things are grown up like that. And let's go take a flower. I know there's one around here somewhere. There, that kind of flower. And put it right here. And then let's grow it up here again. Let's make some taller grass right here, except for in that little spot. <laughs> put something here as well. And then grow up the bits back here. Make them grown up. And when you're doing this, try to put, like, the taller stuff in the back as well, because then it'll be easier to see, like, what's going on in front, and it adds detail to every to another height level in the back. So there you go. That's the garden area. Now, you could also add, like, maybe hay bales in there, some depending if you've got, like, all an all-wheat field, or, you know, it's up to you. You could even add a scarecrow if you wanted, but, you know, it's entirely up to you. It's your build. Now, moving right along to the interior. This is the interior we've got to work with here. And one thing we're going to do is break out this by three blocks. We're gonna take a campfire, and this is how we're gonna make the illusion of an actual fireplace. We're gonna place this here, but you see the smoke only goes to right there, and you can see that it's not actually leaving the house. However, if you put a stair, not inside like that, but right here, then it looks like it's actually going up. And then you can just take this. Let's actually detail that bit a bit more. It looks a little bit flat. There we go. Take this and then basically just make it go out like that. You could even make it go straight up, but personally I like to let it have a little bit of a curve. Put it like that and put it like that. Eh. Yeah, well, I think we'll just make it go straight out this time. I like to have it have a bit of curve, but it's fine that way. Let's make it go straight up. And now we've got a little makeshift fireplace. Now let's take the three kinds of stone we've got going here and mix it into the floor in this little area because, you know, you don't want sparks to be flying on your wood floor because, you know, that, that leads to bad things very quickly. Where's a cracked brick? I want some cracked brick in my floor. And now let's take some spruce planks. Oh no, I broke the door. <laughs> uh, moron. Now let's take some spruce planks and fill out this bit. And I think we're actually going to push the floor back, the stone bit back. Why one? There we go. Now let's take the... Let's get a bed. We need a place to sleep, right? So let's get a bed. Bed. Bed, come back, bed. <laughs> bed, what are you doing? Come back. <laughs> bed, nice. <laughs> and now let's take a spruce sign, place this here, 
Cool, we've got a bed. Now let's actually take another bit of decoration. Let's take an oak log and place it right here. Now I think that looks like, like a log table, you know? So let's take a flower pot as well. Flower pot. Let's get a flower. I personally like Lily of the Valley for this. And boom, we got a little flower right next to our bed. And you can still spawn in this, don't worry. I've already tested it. You'll, you'll spawn just fine. So also, let's take some furnaces. Let's take a blast furnace and let's take a normal furnace. And let's take a smoker as well. And let's take some trapdoors because we're going to use those as makeshift shelves. So we're going to have a normal furnace right here, a blast furnace here. We're going to put the smoker here and trapdoors right here. And we're also going to take a wall. Just a normal cobblestone wall and make it go out like this so that it looks like the smoker is kind of like going out with the chimney as well. You can have to have a little bit of imagination, but you know, you can see it. Right, so now let's take the flower pot again, put it on top of this, take a flower out of here. Actually, instead of a flower, I'm going to use a fern. I like ferns. They look really pretty. Cool. Now we've got a little pot up there, so it's already looking really nice in here, but we're not done. We need storage space. So let's get a barrel. Now, I would use chests. However, I feel like barrels just fit better. So let's get some barrels. Put How many did we put there? Like, what, four? <laughs> four barrels up there, three here, and let's take a trap door from here, make some more shelves, make some shelves under these as well, and put a trap door here as well to sort of cut it off, and put another one here. Now, you could fill up this area with full barrels and such. Personally, I like to leave it a little bit open. So let's also, let's take a flower pot again. So I've already got it in my inventory. <laughs> let's put it up here. And put that in the flower pot. Nice. So technically, it's done at this point. You're done. You've got everything you need. You've got storage. You've got furnaces. You've got a bed. This is a survival house. However, we're going to make it look even better. So let's take the trapdoors and place them here. Place them all along the ceiling here to hide up this hide this bit on the top. Because, you know, it looks so much nicer when they're hidden like that. Now, you could leave it open and you could put stuff up there. But personally, I like to hide it. It's entirely up to you, though. It's your house. You do you. Now, let's get some carpet. We're almost done, guys. Almost done. Let's get some carpet. Let's put it like this. Now, I like to randomize my carpet a bit, but you can have yours be more, you know, uniform, make it look a little bit more clean. I like to have a very randomized kind of carpet look. It's more of a rustic look, but it's entirely up to you. So let's get one more thing. We need lighting, guys. We need lighting. Take a lantern, shift, right click on a trap door, and there you go. Your house is lit up. And that is the interior and the exterior almost done. So there we go. Lantern out here as well for some light outside. And there we go. That is the house and the outside completely done. So there you go. <laughs> anyway, that's, it. that's that's that for that little starter house. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. If you really did, be sure to subscribe. And again, with this house, the, the materials are interchangeable. So if you don't happen to have something, say like the green glass or, you know, green dye in general, you can use a different color. It's entirely up to you. But yeah, it's entirely up to you. It's your house. You do you. But anyway... <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I'm going to try and get better at these tutorials in the future. But for now, this is what I'm doing. So, <laughs> well, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!